Hello and welcome to Tea Time with me, Shelley Chopra. ET Now has turned two and it's also celebrating many weeks of business channel leadership. But we're not going to look behind. We're going to look into the future. Precisely what the show plans to do, bring you the young guns of the golfing scene and how they plan to achieve that Olympic gold, look at a bigger story for Indian golf and manage to turn around the idea that Indian golf is taking to the global scene. First up, everyone who's coming up on the show. On the show this week are the young guns of golf turning the game and taking India to the world. I don't have very many expectations. I've already ex exceeded the ones I had. I mean, I see my game improving by leaps and bounds. Pretty early when I was about 16 or 15, I kind of made up my mind that I wanted to play professional golf. We've all uh, kind of graduated simultaneously. This young lad is married to a golfer. He decided to go out there to the United States to meet his girlfriend and that's when he realized that he could play a tournament. Well, what luck, he won the tournament, came back not just with a prize but also with a wife. So John Singh is managing to do pretty well on tour, especially in India and Avantha Masters certainly showed his prowess pretty well. In golf, if there is one person who can be called Singh is king, it's him. I've always been a good sportsman. Um, I started golf a bit late. I started at the age of 21. But I've always loved sport. And at the age of 21, you really can't start any other sport. You'd be retired by the age I am at now. So, enjoyed golf. I used to play it recreationally before that. And um, it was just natural that I took it on. So, Jan's incredible golf journey has so far been short, but promises to go a long way. Sojan Singh's game at the Oxford tournament last week propelled him to pick up the winner's cheque of 6,50,000 and became India's number one professional golf tour of India player. Singh started playing golf professionally in 2004, winning the title of Rookie of the Year in his first year. The year has been fabulous since the start, as Sojan Singh ended fifth during the Avantha Masters tourney on the European Tour. So Jan Singh's game was for the world to see. It's my first year. I have not. I don't have very many expectations. I've already ex exceeded the ones I had, and now I can play KFE. So Jan's most challenging moment has been playing at the Malaysian Open, where he was up against the global biggies Martin Kamer and Rory McIlroy. The Malaysian Open because it was uh, probably the best field I've played in so far. Uh, there was Rory McIlroy, there was Martin Keimer, who was the number one at that time, uh, Manasero, really good players there. And it was a very challenging course. Sujan Singh is also a musician with his own rock band called Driving Iron, formed in March 2007. He first picked up drums in school and took them up again seriously in 2007. John's game looking like in the months ahead. We spoke to him about what's keeping him in focus. Well, I started great, at least on the Asian tour. That was where my focus is. Um, I, I couldn't have asked for a better start. I've kept my card and um, I've, I, I get a lot of joint sanction events now. So it's exactly where I would hoped to be and it's exactly where I am. The Malaysian Open, probably the best field I've played in so far. Uh, there was Rory McIlroy, there was Martin Kaima, who was the number one at that time, uh, Manasero, really good players there. A lot of the best businessmen, the top businessmen of India are playing golf. And um, you see that, you know, whenever we play pro-ams, uh, you know, the DLF, you know, who's who of the business in the corporate world are playing golf. say good things come in small packages. In golf, you can certainly say Chirag Kumar fits that bill. With his game being a bit up and down, he's trying to come back into the fairway with some action behind him. We spoke to him about how he got into the game of golf. Chirag 
Shivak Kumar was part of the Indian team that won the silver medal in the Asian Games in Doha. In 2010, he had one of his best years and two victories that placed him straight at number 6 on the Rolex player rankings across India. For a kid who followed his dad on the course, at the age of 13, the games got the better of him. Golf became his career as he started picking up the trophies. The Pakistan Amateur Championship in 2005 was followed up by many domestic wins in the amateur circuit. Well, more importantly, to put a strong team out, you know, a strong Indian contingent out uh, in the next four or five years, you know, to get uh, uh, some good players ready, you know, for the Olympics. And obviously, I have my personal goals and personal ambitions that I would like to achieve. Tiger Woods remains his inspiration for the game despite the controversial downturn his career has taken. Like for many others, this one man epitomized golf's popularity and precision. I have a lot of inspirations. I might be a little controversial if I say Tiger Woods because he's everybody's inspiration and of course, you know, after all the hype that's been created about him. But golf in India is still catching up. Our mascots in Jeev Milkha Singh, Jyoti Randhava and Shiv Kapoor are big on the global golf circuit. And they remain the true ambassadors of the game for young guns like Chirag. Guys like Jeev and Jyoti and Shiv, you know, they've always been uh, an inspiration to all the younger players to, you know, do well, go out there, play well. And I think playing with them only um, kind of, uh, you know, they, they, they instill a lot of confidence in you. They're very encouraging, they're very... Um, you know, and of course they're great people, so uh, they, they always encourage you to do better and it's, it's great, great fun playing with them, you learn a lot. Twenty eleven promises to be a challenging golf year and that's why Chirakumar seems to be gearing up for it. It's looking good. Uh, you know, I, I had a I had a great season last year. I won uh, two events last year and they were my uh, well it was the first time I won a pro event, so obviously it was a great season for me. This year is looking good. I'm playing well. Um, just need to work on a few things and hopefully everything will fall in place. The tournaments that you win early on in your career are obviously very special because they're the ones that give you confidence. So I think my first win against Mukesh Kumar that you know I played last year in the PGTI Players Championship held at Golden Greens, it was a tough win because he's a great competitor and you know to beat him head-to-head -head was a little tough. So I think I'd, I'm going to cherish that for a long time. He's young with fire in his belly, but recently he's also managed a few trophies under his shoulder. Himmat Singh Rai speaks to ET now about where he's headed, not just with his game, but how he managed to get hooked on to golf. He's considered as one of the biggest prospects of Indian golf and 2011 is showcasing his true potential. Himmat has been playing aggressively and solidly since the start of the year and his most recent win was the runners-up trophy at the PGTI Championship at the Oxford course where he was second only to Sujjan Singh. I started when I was very fairly young uh, in the Indian Military Academy a golf course in Dehradun. My father was an instructor in Dehradun so he started me off. The next big focus for the young guns is surely an eye on Olympics and they sure look forward to some attention from the government. So will Himmat Singh Rai make it to those who will try and get India its Olympic gold? Big question. It looks very good. I mean, I've got uh, a number of tournaments in the Asian Tour. I got my card uh, in January uh, for the Asian Tour. I got it back again through the Q School. And I've been playing solid ever since the start of the year, so I'm looking forward to the tournaments coming up. I mean, I see my game improving by leaps and bounds um, every year, so uh, looking forward to the challenge of, uh, first of all, making it to the team and uh, then, of course, uh, delivering after that.
seconds from now, after this short break, I'll be joined by Manav Jaini, who's recently had his first victory, but he's managed to keep up in the top 10s 11 times out of 19 in 2010. Pretty early, when I was about 16 or 15, I kind of made up my mind that I wanted to play professional golf. I personally just loved the show uh, prior to even uh, us being there, uh, simply because golf is such a glamour sport and it can be boring to watch, but I think you've made it really fun. Uh, entrepreneurship with sport has never looked better. The people who have been interviewed have brought as much leisure on course to what was business on course. The locations have gone global. I remember seeing a Dubai and a Scotland course out there. And Shali continues to draw the best out of her golfing partners. Welcome back to Tea Time with me, Shelly Chopra. This is a special show to mark a special occasion. ET Now is turning two and we are marking several weeks of business leadership. On this special episode, we've got the young guns of golf. Now it's time for me to introduce Manav Jaini to you, somebody who is really hot on the circuit, especially after his recent win. Introducing Manav Jaini on Tea Time. <laughs> He needed a win and he finally got one at the SRF match play on the domestic pro circuit. Manav Jenny, the 27-year-old Delhi-based professional golfer, has been rising up the tournaments slowly but steadily. In 2011 alone, Jenny has made it to the two top tens in the Asian Tour. Addicted to golf from school days, Jenny knew more about tee-offs than textbooks. Laid back and golf-focused. Jenny looks up to South Africa's Ernie Eels for inspiration. The calm and cool of elves is something Jenny wants to imbibe in his game. Jenny hit the golf course when he was 12. Thanks to his granddad, he had his first amateur win in 2001 and turned pro in 2006. But lean lessons in the middle almost made him give up the game out of frustration. He got himself a recovery shot with a new coach and some lessons in confidence. The SRF match play victory in May turned the game around for Manav Jain. Well, let's chat then with Manav Jenny with his first win in the bag. Hi, Manav. Hope you're doing well. Let's start with asking you, how's it been with the game on top? I've been working with uh, Nonita Lal Qureshi for the last five years or so. And uh, basically, we worked on uh, pretty much uh, uh, improving my golf swing and not really work, uh, worrying about what the best perfect golf swing is. And I think, you know, the last five years, I've had, uh, had uh, good finishes now because I've got more understanding about the way I swing the club. And that's really helped me be a little more consistent while playing. Could we see some serious contention then in 2011-2012 when it comes to our local boys? Gaganjit, Anirban, and Himmat, they're very close to getting onto the European tour. I think Chirag, myself, Rashid, we still have to kind of, uh, you know, find a feed on the Asian tour and contend there. So hopefully, you know, uh, we can do that on the Asian tour and these guys can move forward on the European tour. And we've got a lot of young guys coming out, Abhishek Jha, Naman Dawar, all these guys, they're really good. And it's only a matter of time till, you know, some of them break through and make news. What's the big inspiration? What is the driving factor for the domestic guys and how are they managing to keep up not just confidence but also momentum? Do you think there is enough big fish in the pond right now to manage to take the next big leap among you guys? Well, of course, uh, you know, we still, uh, Arjun Atwal has done wonders for the game here in India by winning on the PGA Tour, but we still don't have a major winner as yet. So I'm sure a lot of young guys are dreaming to win a major someday. But uh, the Indian Tour, you know, the Indian Tour has improved so much that, you know, if you want to play professional golf, you've got to be on top of your game every week. Otherwise, you won't be making a living on the Indian Tour. So I think the Indian Tour, you know, the uh, competition on the Indian Tour is really the initial driving factor for everybody who comes out and plays here. Suddenly, India seems to be looking good, isn't it? Centre of attraction, pretty, uh, pretty much we're seeing a lot of brands pay attention to India. Globally, there's a lot of interest that the India story is the next big one in golf. How are you taking it? 
Well, of course, you know, I think over the last four, four and a half years, the Indian tour has come a long way. The prize money has improved. I think Asia is really looking at India to be like the backbone of uh, the Asian tour. And uh, we've got at least four, four events now of the Asian tour here. So I think we are definitely, uh, you know, emerging as a superpower when it comes to Asian golf. Let's do a quick rapid fire with you. Your favorite four ball. You know, my favorite football is the football I play back home every day. That's Gaurav Gai, Vivek Bandari and Naman Dawar. I don't think I would want to change that football. I enjoy being in that football every day. What do you think got you into the game? Pretty early when I was about 16 or 15, I kind of made up my mind that I wanted to play professional golf. Did family play a big role? Family, oh, family plays a big role. My grandfather is the one who kind of introduced me to the game. I used to come and walk with him. And uh, my family has been very supportive of me turning pro and, you know, always, even when I wasn't playing all that well, they kind of knew that I had it in me. So, you know, never kind of made me doubt my decision. So that was great. What is the next two years going to be like for Manav Jenny? Uh, you know, uh, the next, for the next two years, I'm pretty much uh, hoping that I can win some more, either in India or Asia. And definitely what I really want to do is find my feet in Asia, contend in Asia, not only in the Asian tournaments in India, but, you know, go out and play well on the Asian tour. So that, you know, it's, it's about getting out of your comfort zone. I think most of us right now who play part-time on the Asian Tour are very comfortable playing in India. So I think the next two years, the big goal for me is to kind of contend outside India. The global golfer you really look up to? I look, I've always, ever since I was a kid, I looked up to Ernie. I think I like the way his attitude is and the way he kind of handles himself on the golf course. So I've always been a big fan of Ernie Els. And for the many aspiring golfers who look up to you, what's your advice? You know, the, the only thing that I've learned over the last five years is, you know, if you want to become a professional golfer, you just got to worry about how you swing the club. Learn what you do in your swing and that'll be more than enough to make you a good player.